As students head back to class, many Texas school districts face a budget crisis. Superintendents bracing for cuts that could affect students and teachers if the state does not pass a new funding bill. In a special report, investigator Kelly Wiley and education reporter Nabil Ramadna dig into the debate as decision makers plan for another school funding fight. You have a teacher and you have a teacher assistant in AISD. We're not making 120,000 a year. This is a very challenging community to, you know, to be, a, be an educator in and have, uh, be a homeowner and to be able to keep your head above water financially. You go, mija, throw it to me. This is okay. a, a challenging city to be raising a, a family of four in. Más alto. ¿Qué quieres que diga? Teachers in AISD right now don't know exactly how much they're going to be making this year. We don't know if we're going to be getting a raise or not. Not because the school district doesn't want to, but because their hands are pretty tied. They have, uh, they have these expenses. On July 23rd, 2024, facing a $119 million deficit, the Austin ISD School Board began discussing programs it could potentially cut to balance its budget in the future. When I was watching it in July, it was very sobering. They had identified areas that could be cut if help doesn't come from the state or from a property tax increase. Changing librarians to aides uh, could see savings. And then, of course, there are stipends that districts provide. I can tell you uh, a lot of those teachers might not stick around if you take away that stipend. If we were to remove or move away from doing one-way and two-way dual language, there could be some staffing. Those areas are going to hurt specific schools. They're going to hurt certain populations. The conversation around budget cuts is one school districts across the state are having after lawmakers failed repeatedly since 2019 to increase the funding per student, the basic allotment. Our team began tracking how many school districts in Central Texas and beyond were passing budgets where they spent more than they had. Of the 24 Central Texas school districts, which have already adopted its budget for this school year, 18 are in a deficit. School budgets show the shortfalls range anywhere from $374,000 to $119 million. We found big and rural school districts across the state are digging into their fund balances to give teachers raises and keep up with legally required programs. Uh, if you look at our special education pro uh, program as a whole, uh, the state underfunds that program by $25 million. As a former classroom teacher, looking at some of these things, they're, like, they're devastating. According to Austin ISD administration, even if voters approve a tax rate increase and the district is able to meet its goal of a multi-million dollar budget cut, they would still be left with a $41 million deficit. Hey, CISD is facing a $6 million deficit and Round Rock ISD, through what it calls surgical but difficult cuts, was able to pass a balanced budget. There's not much we can do after this year if our state doesn't change the way the fund public school. Really, like we're pretty much stuck. You can make an adjustment and save 22 million, you know, 19 million dollars, but at what cost? We could um, produce harm or introduce harm that, that we just are not, um, does that align with our values? If we don't get more money or don't more funding for the state, we won't be able to give raises, for example, to staff and teachers. My hope is that the kids don't feel it. I don't think I'm going to be th that naive and say that they won't. I'm sure uh, once we start school on Tuesday um, and as we progress through the year, we'll have to deal with some issues because you either have money or you don't to do certain things and you want to sustain what you've been doing in the past, but at some point something has to give. Okay. Once you make a cut in something, it, if it ever comes back, it sometimes takes years to come back. I just, I don't know how it's going to turn out in the end. I really don't. In January, lawmakers will have to act on mounting pressure to increase funding to public schools, but also on the governor's mission to create a program allowing state dollars to go to private schools. Both priorities fell short in the last legislative session. We have the money approved in the budget for billions of dollars in addition uh, for public schools. Coming up, we sit down with a Republican leading the party's effort to create education savings accounts and a House Democrat fighting to stop the plan. We are about three votes down in our effort to defeat vouchers. The fight over school funding now taking shape at the Capitol. 